start this story by saying, I'm not a bad person, but I'm probably going to hell. Don't get me wrong, I understand that it's my fault for waiting to start Christmas shopping until baby Jesus' head was literally like halfway out of his mother's hoo-ha. Wow, I am going to hell. But that's not the point. Being around all these crowds has really brought my pettiness to a new level. You see, I started holding doors for people, but only when they were like 40 feet away. And then I'd just stare at them. So they felt like they had to run. <laughs> I hate to admit this, but I was having a good old time with it, y'all. People freak out. They turn into, what's that, what's that song? She's a runner, she's a track star. And that's all good and well. Until you choose the wrong victim, like I did. You see, the problem is, I did this to an elderly lady, you know, with a cane. <laughs> and I gotta admit, when she first saw me through those bifocals, her quick little waddle was kind of cute. But then it turned into more of a wobble. So, like, I panicked because I thought she was gonna fall. So I started running towards her trying to catch her. I don't want her to break a hip. But then I, but then I tripped. Y'all, I tackled somebody's mama in the Macy's parking lot. Don't get me wrong, I was trying to help. But I was moving so fast, I looked like a linebacker. Funny thing is, she got right up. But I feel like I broke my hip. I don't know what the lesson here is, honestly. Maybe don't procrastinate, don't be petty. No, let's just say the lesson here is grandmas are durable. I'm gonna go get some ice.